What's up guys, welcome back to Call of Duty Fanatics video channel. Um, before we start today's topic, which is quite interesting as well, I want to thank you all for your kind support in the last couple of days. We got thousands and thousands of views on our videos, which makes us very happy, which means that you are happy with the content that we are producing. Uh, while I'm flying over the dam, uh, a lot of people were speculating what are the black spots that are constantly moving that you can see here around the dam here. Now you can probably see how the color is changing, like that something is moving beneath. Now, many of people were theorizing and talking that we are going to get a submarine here. Now, I perfectly understand that Im imagination uh, can go very far, but if Activision and developers of this game are going to put the submarine here, that's going to be so... Uh, I will say it will going to be an epic fail, because concept of submarine being here is simply not realistic. Why am I saying this? There is enough space for the submarine to be here, definitely. But, for example, like, we don't know where is the source of this lake. Like, this is not an open water, it's not a river. And, for example, if this water is coming from this small river somewhere here, from or from in the mountain, like, why... The enemy down. Why the submarine would be here and how how could submarine even come here like we are speaking about the big submarines for example the biggest submarines in the world today is a russian typhoon which is 550 feet 550 feet long and uh, american ohio submarine which is also 550 feet long even even if we get a smaller submarine or something like that it's still impossible because there is no flow of water there's no river around here um, unless we are speaking about some underground waters which is highly unlikely so i think the concept of submarine rising here is not it's not going to happen because there's no logic that we have a submarine over here and at the end of the story, why would the submarine appear in front of the dam? That's almost, I would say, it's not realistic, it's impossible. So I think that submarine is definitely not coming uh, to war zone. Uh, there is a, the, the, the one fact definitely stands is that um, something is beneath this water and beneath this ice. And also we can see uh, the blue uh blue parts of it which are actually very good scene maybe you saw it when i was flying in there is a distinctive blue spot which points out to something but uh, i would also argue that uh, this might have been done because uh, developers of this game invested so much time and so much energy in the details I wouldn't be surprised if we are speaking here about the shadows that are produced from the water and from the sun, so from the light, and that the shadows are actually, and the light reflection is actually making this look like something is moving. As I said, uh, developers invested so much time in the details, and this is one of the best detailed game I ever seen, so I wouldn't be surprised that we are just witnessing here uh, the reflex of light on the water. Now, there's another spot that uh, recently gamers uh, founded, is the black spots. Uh, and we hear the wolves as well which is quite typical lately, quite strange and quite spooky. Now there are also, you see these black spots over here. Now this wasn't present before on the dam. So there is a black spot over here as well. Let me see. No, not here. But anyways, it's present over here. Through all the dam. Sorry, I'm a little bit confused because I'm hearing the walls all the time. Which is ah, there's the, there's the, 
there's the black spot. So this black spot I'm speaking about. And fans were theorizing again that this might be something. Now, my theory is that developers are already working something on, um, on this part, on the dam, on this part of the map. And these wolves are not stopping howling. This is very interesting. But anyways, I was talking that developers are probably doing something with this portion of the map. And probably they're preparing something. And that's why they are leaving us signs and clues that something will happen to the dam. So probably our suspicions are right. And something will happen here, but definitely not the submarine. My prediction is that the dam will just go away. It will be blown away by rocket systems that are deployed everywhere in Verdansk, or maybe even a smaller nuclear rocket where we will basically um, have half of the map altered. But today is the day of the new update. It's Thursday 18th of the 6th, 18th of June. And we are getting a new update. We, I can hardly wait to see what kind of new missions we are going to get for the ghost to gather the ghost intel. So we are just any moment the update should uh, appear. Also, happy days and happy news is that the plunder is coming back. Which means that the community and very big uh, number of players who are easter egg hunting only and resolving clues and mysteries will have now peace to do it so because uh, doing uh, solving mysteries and solving clues in the uh, war zone is battle royale is absolutely impossible and it's very hard it is possible but it's very hard so tonight after the update we are definitely going to go again into the bunker 10 we are going to go into the bunker 1 and bunker 3 to see what's happening there again in and can we find some new clues that will connect us uh, and give us some new intel on resolving the mystery of the new bunkers anyways guys that would be it for now um as I said, stay tuned because tonight we are going for an Easter egg hunt in Plunder. And we are going to, I just forgot to mention, we are going to open bunker number 11 again as well to see do we have some new clues over there. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think about these new black spots on the dam? What do you think? Is Sabrine going to appear? Uh, you can leave your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future great Call of Duty content, especially in the section of Easter egg hunting. So stay good and until next time, have a great day and bye bye.